Welcome to Osiris Nodon. I've been crafting a few things. I'm gonna bring some stuff with me. And uh, this is all it takes to make a furnace. Uh, I'm gonna bring a few of these things and a forge. And I should also be able to do scrap metal chests. In terms of structures, I should be able to do a couple of these and an inflatable dome. Because today, I'm gonna go to Lutare. I'm not gonna set up a drill there for now. I just wanna go and see what it has to offer, explore it a little bit because I went there in the last episode but I haven't stayed for a while I got some food, I got ammo, let's just go to Lutari today took a while to get onto the ship, not gonna lie but everything seems good, let's retract the flaps ailerons are good, thruster, let's lift off there we go, nice and easy let's go straight to Lutari, I don't need anything else I probably do, but that's fine Let's just speed it up. Oh, I have to speed it up. Okay. Space. And there it is, on my left, right there. Is that Plutari? Sure takes a while to turn. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it is a spaceship. Okay, so let's go to this weird fucking planet. <laughs> I definitely like the textures when you look from above, uh, above, above here. It looks pretty damn sweet. Kind of looks a little bit like Europa. I don't know. Uh, one of them. But uh, this planet, the last time I was here, which was in the last episode. Look at that. It. It's just a small square. Wasn't this much bigger? I don't know. Kind of feels like it. I'm going to have to explore this a little bit. So I'm just going to put down. And let's see what, what we can find. Because I used to know where the things were. But now not so much. But I see something shining over there. There used to be mines here. I don't know if uh, actually that area... Yeah, because that area after this big square doesn't seem like it's explorable. I mean, could be like Proteus. He has a big desert with some resources and big worms. I'm not sure. But he should also be pretty slow to move around here. So it's going to be a little tricky. Because to be able to do the lab, it's going to take a while. So for now, let's go on foot. And we set foot. We set foot. And let's see if it's... Oh yeah, the ramp doesn't seem to be here. That's... Okay, but... Yeah, it's a little bit slower. If I don't left shift... Oh, there's nitrogen, but I don't see the yellow stuff coming out. Interesting. And what what is that thing? See, there, there's like a big plume coming out. Oh, I see. Is that oxygen coming out and it's just very windy? Yeah, look at that. I can't even see the, the yellow smoke. Very windy around here. Some wind turbines would be perfect. I guess this spot would be as good as anywhere else. So my oxygen is already going down. Apparently the temperature is low. I didn't bring the the thing to, to take to there. I just bought the normal one. This one gives me... So this gives me plus 15 on, on each, I think. But I think I should be able to do the inflatable dome. So let's just put it in. And uh, yeah, that's just fine. Because I need this thing to be able to recover the oxygen. I think I also recover when I go into the spaceship. But there you go. It went up. Uh, I can actually sleep here, which is nice. I'm not sure if there's nighttime here. Uh, as far as I remember, there is no nighttime in Lutari. So, but uh, but there is time. It's say 53. If I was in Proteus, I would be I would be going back to sleep right now. But it seems to be stopped the time. Look at that. Still late 53. Yeah, time slows down in Lutari. There's no time in Lutari. I should be be sucked into a wormhole right now. What the hell's going on? Just by walking around. Even without left shifting, the the oxygen is going down. So definitely, I can't venture too far away, and I'm possibly going to use the spaceship to reach lithium deposit. Look at that! So I came into a what the hell is this? That's a big old rock. Is this harvestable? That would be awesome. Imagine if all of this was iron. Oh boy, along the late. No, it's just like a. Isn't it? I knew it. So there's also these mushrooms. Uh, let's see. What are they called? 
I have to hit it. Yeah. In this game, you just basically have to beat stuff up to know where it is. Fun type old teal coin. So let's see what you give me with the shears. That's it. Only one hit and we're done. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. Fun table bulb. A bulb of a fun table bam plant. Yeah, you just said what the title says, man. I, I, uh... Okay, but let's let's try and this one. Let's see if the shears get something different. Let's shear it. I think it's the same one, right? Or is it another one? Can I where where are the thing? There you go. Oh, with the shears it gives me healing fiber, so it's the other way around. Gotcha. And uh, what, what what was the name of the thing? Fun, fun Tipple Tilcon. Okay, so it's the family of the Fun Tipple. Okay, gotcha. So, yeah, I guess it's a little bit different. Very cool. So let's see, is there another type of plant here? And this is kind of like the edge. Yeah, but I'm curious to see why did they put these boulders over there. If the surface actually looks different, I think I'm gonna bring the spaceship and go into that area. Let's see if I can manage. The problem is, on a, on a land vehicle, I can get out and get back in, in case danger arrives. On a spaceship, it's a little bit tricky. It sure takes a while, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get out there, because I don't want to lose the spaceship and be stranded here. So, I'm just gonna take a look. When I actually have a proper base here and some land vehicles, that's when I'm actually going to try to get out there because there could be resources. Who knows? Is this? Yeah, this is the Tilcon. And this is the the bulb. No, it's also the Tilcon. So, okay, let's try the Tilcon with the... Oh, there you go. I got the Fun Tipple bulb. Oh, no, it's the same tree. Except this one. The, the fruit is called bulb. And the tree is called Tilkan. I got it now. I understand the fun people. But now the wind seems to have come down. Now the, the plume is going way up. Which is kind of interesting because this is a kind of a valley. But I mean wind flows through valleys too. Maybe it was uh, cold air coming down. And now it's nitrogen. Wasn't it hydrogen before? This is the same one. I didn't move. That's interesting. I, m I must have misread it. Yeah, I, I really thought it was hydrogen. I must have misread it because the, the, fum the fumes were definitely white. Yeah, I just... Yeah, I think I'm going to go over there too. I want to go everywhere, really. But first, let's go to that unexplorable area. And let's see how unexplorable it actually is. Awesome feature now, the spaceship. We can actually uh, fly around while we're hovering. And I think I spot something right there on the, on my... Let's see if I can... Yeah, straight ahead. I see something there. And uh, unfortunately, when we're, when we're hovering, if we move the mouse around, we actually turn the ship when we don't look. Yeah, but this looks like something. Is it... Oh, could be... A, oh, is that a satellite? Interesting. So it is like Proteus. Yeah, but I'm scared that it could be a worm here, man. And once I step out of the spaceship, it's gonna eat me whole and, and my ship too. Yeah, it's not a good idea. Not a good idea. Because, I don't know, they could have added the big worm to this region. Because it, it, it definitely is strange that they reduced the size of this safish area. Because it used to be much, much bigger. So let's go up here to the left. Does it follow the terrain? No, I have to raise it a little bit. Okay, but I, uh, there you go. And uh, yeah, kind of hard to... Oh, there's some purple things over there. Maybe that's a different plant. And I see some nodes, so let's put it down here. And for sure, the spaceship recharges my, my oxygen too, which is pretty cool. I think I've seen those before. Uh, but let's check again. I don't remember the name. Okay, so with that you gave alien fiber and it's just one hit. So it must be another type of... yeah, Moonshroom, that's the one. So with the shears we get the... oh, and there's meteorites here too. Look at that. Moonshroom. Sweet. 
those purple ones look very yeah i think i recognize this place i think on the last season i built my base just after that hill uh i had that big pillar i think this is a place because the aluminum was right here and i think down there was a weird spot where i couldn't actually go into the crater there was like an invisible wall i think this is the spot so let's see what this is oh it's the tilkan but it's purple here maybe it's because it's on the shadow gotcha yeah i think this might be the spot let's see if i if, if i'm wrong or if i'm right because i can't be both at the same time no no yeah, there's gold here i i think this is the spot let's just walk over there the damn the spaceship has a big ass god damn thrusters man why don't you use gravity to move around and look at that there's a little base right there there's a rover and it kind of looks like it's harvestable Ooh, pretty cool it definitely is completely different either they change the spots or this it, this map is just different because it was um, kind of northeastern edge of the map close actually on the northeastern edge there was a nice uh, diamond spot but it, it was a few uh, versions ago yeah it's a northeastern stuff let's see and there's names to the thing but yeah oh I'm yeah I'm on in the northeastern I think this was the spot so it's pretty large looks larger than it actually is interesting mm. pretty interesting and there's more stuff here metallic objects okay so I'm gonna have to put a radar down yeah unfortunately I didn't bring stuff to build a radar so there you go I can actually start a base right here I got a biodome I got a habitat that's pretty cool and I even got a drone uh, let's pick up the the mechanized spanner begin repair so what do you need no let's hide blueprints I think I have to solve a zoom first yeah that's some wires and now begin repair so how can I I can actually repair I don't have dynamite no so I can build you later I'm gonna dismantle and get some stuff yeah there you go I could actually dismantle this whole thing and another awesome thing is I don't need to build the lab to actually have a land vehicle I got a room right here that's awesome the only problem is in Proteus there are a few boxes that actually spawn around the map like the satellites but each time I logged back into the game they were in a different spot it's like they despawned and respawned again in a different spot like randomly so I, I kind of don't know if this base will do the same if I log back out if I log back in will this be here yeah I don't know but definitely I have a chance to get a land vehicle so let's retrieve everything uh, salvage there you go that's a good find man really good find I didn't bring rubber and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need more rubber than these wheels are actually giving me so that's why uh, I'm not sure that I'm gonna be able to fix it uh, dismantle and I think begin repairs so let's put in what I got yeah not 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 a chance in hell I don't have even not even close what it takes I do have a fuel cell three actually But I need one for this. So in fact, yeah, the biodome is on the other side. I can retrieve it, can I? I think I can retrieve the biodome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the biodome. We're going to bring it over here. And I'm going to set up a little camp right here. Because this will save me some resources to actually start a base on this spot. I can definitely pick up the inflatable dome. But as I was coming here, I saw another thing on this side there's another base right there and the mine look at that at my left hand side there's a radar on top this one seems harvestable too and there's chlorine oxygen 
And there's another base right there. That one. And there's an animal. Look at that. So I wonder if this one isn't even better than the other one. Because it seems to have more resources around. And there's a big ass crater right there. Jesus. That was a big impact. So, in fact, I think I'm gonna stay on this one because I got a meat source right there, apparently. I hope it is a meat source. And not a fungus, moving fungus. And I got a few gases, not hydrogen, but I mean, it's something. But I just don't see any nodes. Yeah, there are no mining nodes around these parts. So before I actually plant down, no, Ben, keep, keep hovering. I plant down the inflatable dome on the other spots. Let's investigate a little bit. Yeah, this one, I think it's not retrievable. There's hydrogen over there. I can see it on my left. So, yeah. I got nitrogen where I just was a minute ago. And I got hydrogen there because I'm going to need fuel. So I think this is the best spot. Even though the notes could be wrong, could be far away. I know at least for fuel, it's going to be close. So this is where I'm actually built. I got an... Uh, it's just as much... Oh, but I have the rover here. Oh, that's right. But that's the thing. I can go get the rover and bring it back. So this is going to be where I'm going to build a base, definitely. I don't have the resources to fill to complete it, so let's just set up camp and start doing something right here. Okay, so this will be the place. I don't know uh, if I should, but I kind of have a feeling that I should greet the locals. They're around, so let's see what he wants. Hey buddy, do you live in these parts? No. What's your name? Oh, I think he's the Mantis. Something like that. Have you met the Dragon Tooth? Huh? Where are you going? Don't ignore me, please. Come back. No, fella. I don't have high, uh, oxygen to follow you around. Can you just... No. Where are you going? Oh, you eat high oxygen, do you? No, you don't. So... Excuse me. Mister. Are we tracking down the meteorites? What the hell is going on? He's just going. Do you have family around? Can I eat one of your babies? There's another one there. Holy moly. Oh, I guess. You're going for some sort of a reunion, are you? No, he's going that way and you're going that way. Gotcha. Very interesting folk. The hover works very well on this low gravity here. And uh, it definitely feels like it's not as slow as it used to be. On uh, a few updates ago, the movement here was much slower. So let's start by the basics as I did before. Let's put in an inflatable dome. And I'm also going to build one of those skelly pot huts. And uh, I think here should be good. Because I don't think this will recharge my my oxygen, but let's try. I, 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 I'm not, I don't know, don't know that. I don't know that for a fact. So if I stand in here, no, this will protect me from a storm or something. I can sleep. I can set as respawn point. So let's set it. That's fine. Yeah, but it doesn't recharge. Yeah. So it was a good option to bring the plate of home. The weird thing, it doesn't even need a solar panel or nothing. It just works on magic. So that's great. So let's retrieve this whole thing. I think uh, a few boxes will also be helpful. I'm gonna do these smaller ones. Um, so where I'm gonna build my little cap. So I got the biodome here. I could have a, a little base, it doesn't have to be big. So the entrance is on that side, that could be the exit. I could have like a little, yeah, let's just put a box right there. So that I can drop off some stuff if I need to. And I'm gonna build the, these things. Yeah, it's gonna be right here in the middle. The I don't know if this thing is lined up, if I could actually connect it with a hallway. That I was kind of thinking about that. Uh, I think the furnace right there should be good. And let's put a forge too, because who knows, I might want to start smelting some stuff, because bringing ingots, ingots could be a little bit easier than bringing uh, the ores themselves. So there you go, I got a furnace and a forge and a box. So let's start dismantling this shit. 
And the mechanized pen is just awesome. It's really damn fast. Of course, this one is just G. But to actually dismantle it, salvage, look at it. <laughs> there you go. Really awesome. And, uh, okay, I'm gonna put it back to bare bones. And now let's see what we got in the boxes. Oh, nice. Some good resources. Definitely very nice. Some water, fuel cells. Awesome. Awesome. And this thing, I should be able to recycle it. Of course, I'm gonna have to upgrade the forge first. But uh, nice. Pretty cool. And I should also do a workbench because there's another recycling option. And uh, I don't think this is gonna respawn. Not only that, I think I have to remove... Yeah, because you see, it says 6 out of 13 wreckages cleared. So I got 7 boxes right here. They count as part of the habitation. So in actually, to be honest, to fix it, I have to remove the boxes. So there you go. I'm not going to set it to fix it, but I'm definitely going to. I just want to recover this side too. So there you go. Oh, man. That's such a difference. That's really damn fast. Look at that. There you go. Recovery all. I think I should have enough room. Yeah. Getting a bunch of cool resources. Nice. So, then when I try to build it up, I'm not gonna need to bring as much, hopefully. Let's see. Okay. Oh, nice. Plastics and stuff. I'm lucky. I actually found some rubber to be able to fix the rest of the rover. That would be nice. Because, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to have to find long delete to, to make rubber. Nice. There you go. Let's hide this thing and let's recover the boxes. I'm not sure I have anything to plant here. I'm pretty sure I can't grow mushrooms on this thing. But there you go, everything is recovered, so let's take stock of what I collected here. So, magnesium, some lithium, the ores are okay because I can get them, but uh, some glass, which is nice. Oh yeah, let's also try, because apparently we can make water with ice. But, but this is low tower, this is not easy, man. Let's see, yeah, we just get sand here. We just get sand. So let's just turn it to glass, and more glass, and yeah, look at that, six rubber, nice. And uh, some plastic. Let's make a couple glass containers too. Maybe there's hard recovery solution here. I don't know. Let's make one Zamak. Why not? And uh, yeah. That's nice. I'm almost full. Jesus. Uh, so let's see. Do I got the run? Yeah, I got some of the London. Let's put it in there. Let's put the plastic and the rubber. There we go. Okay. So I'm setting up camp. I'm going to need a bunch of resources. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have everything. But by exploring around, maybe I can find the ores here and actually finish up this base. But for now, I think it's looking pretty damn cool. And now that I got uh, the workshop kind of done, yeah, let's grab this and let's make the workbench too. It's going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, it's going to be needed. So let's put it here with a little bit of room in between so that I can move around. There you go. So now I should be able to recycle some stuff. Let's see. Can I? No, I'm going to have to upgrade to do the best recycling option. Uh, a solar panel. Yeah, let's put a solar panel. I'm going to need it anyway. And you see, in Lutari, it shows the area before I build it. And this thing happens too with the liquid tanks where we can actually refuel the vehicles. Back in Proteus, it doesn't show. Back in Proteus, it doesn't show the area, but here it does. So let's put it. try to put it somewhere where it won't be on the way and it can actually reach everything so it reaches over there I think it should be good here because I'm gonna need a solar panel for the camp station and for the printer basically and if I have a fabricator it's gonna be here and uh, yeah I'm not sure let's see it covers it all yeah it, maybe maybe the fabricator doesn't actually need a solar panel I'm not sure about that so Let's see what I can get here. I'm pretty sure I need this and this. And I think I can make some wires. Let's take the glass. Is it in the forge? Not wires, the circuit boards. Or oh, maybe it's in the printer. Yeah. No, man. It's in the workbench. There you go. That's why I made it. Isn't it? Yeah. Let's make these. 
Let's make all five from broken ones. Uh, I don't think I need a computer screen for the for the rover. That's what I'm thinking about. Because I'm pretty sure I need some circuit boards and the fuel cells. So let's grab the fuel cell. No, the box. I already grabbed it. Um, I know I needed the rubber. Maybe the glass. Do I have room for it all? Well, I'm not going to need this, this stuff. Or this. Or the computer screen. Or the broken hoses. Or the cloth. So let's bring everything else. These ingots. Even the battery. And the... Not gonna need the belt in the mercury. Let's bring it all. I can leave the water. I got. I still got the food, and I can leave the pistols. Okay, I got some room. I'm not encumbered. So let's see if I can actually fix the rover. That would be nice. Of course, it's not gonna have enough fuel, but if it has enough just to reach the spot, that's that's gonna be tremendous. Otherwise, well, it can just stay there. It should be marked on the map. And then when I got a chem station, I do some fuel and bring it over. Simple enough. So let's see if I have enough for it all. Let's fix the wheels, it's just rubber. What about these things? Uh, six, five and eight. If it's all this, I should have enough. Let's see. What the hell is that? The axle. Okay. Okay. That one is fixed. Nice. It's gonna be tight. Oh, this one I haven't retrieved. Really? I thought I retrieved. What the hell? Is it? No, I already built. No, confused. Are we done? Yeah, maybe I haven't retrieved these ones. Yeah. No, what's missing is that. Yeah, I'm short on the London. But that thing is green. Why is it green? Yeah, I'm sure that's on London. But I should be able to do some. But okay, the rover's right here. Four or five wreckage cleared. I'm I think there must be some part that I haven't retrieved that I should. I'm not sure. But okay, I'm sure that I don't have the London. Maybe I have it here, so I'm gonna retrieve this one and try to fix the rover. But that was a good start in Lutari. Uh, unfortunately, the fauna seems like it's going to be a little tricky because they're a little bit shy. So I'm going to have to use this baby. But for the time being, that was some good progress. Thank you for watching and until next time.